Hey everybody, it's just Kristen Chavis. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome child. And if you've been rocking with me, you already know I love you. I am so happy to be back. There is a new video up. Make sure you run and go check it out right now if you have it. Okay, so there will be new content every week um, rolling out once a week. Um for at least the next eight to nine weeks. Um, and I'm so excited about that. You're gonna hear new improvements with the audio. Some of them I had technical difficulties where I wasn't able to capture that um, really good microphone audio. But I said, you know what? I'm not gonna let my babies not get to enjoy this. So if the quality of the audio is not bad audio, but if the quality of it isn't as like popping like it is in the other ones that's why but you still gonna love it you still gonna love it so welcome to all my new babies i'm so happy to have y'all the crazy thing is like even during this break the channel has been growing on youtube and even on tiktok it's been going crazy and i know it's nobody but god like even right now stuff is just like really trending and I don't even get a chance to post often like I used to. So, um, I want to say thank y'all for subscribing, liking, supporting, checking on me. Thank y'all for um, the new new babies um, that are like, hey, you know, I love your channel. Um, but thank y'all for sticking with me, for real. Like, I haven't forgotten about y'all. Um, it has been a rough journey, an uh, interesting journey. Some good things have happened. Some not so good things have happened. That's life. But um, I do want to do like a quick story time with you guys, share with y'all just what's been going on because I know you've been wondering. And then we're just going to get into it. Okay. So um, where have you been? <laughs> Number one question that's been... Um, X. So, like, summer of 2022, um, I had severe back pain, um, severe pelvic pain to where um, it was hard for me to stand up for a long period of time. Sitting down was painful. I basically had to, like, lay down and even laying down was painful. Um, I had skin issues. I had allergies that I didn't even know about that were causing me to like break out really bad and scratch. And like, if you go back and look at the, the old videos, like and you see my arms, there's like scars all over my arms. Cause I would just be itching all the time. Um, but thank God, all of this got addressed. All of this got healed. Mind you, I was on Medicaid at the time. So it was really hard to find a chiropractor. I had been in an accident, like, eight months prior and I was doing Franny Candy, I was recording, I was doing all this stuff with a very, very tense back. Like I would have really bad muscle spasms um, in my back. It would be hard to stand up for hours and hours. So like all those orders that you guys put in and maybe some of you guys didn't get a chance to make, put any orders in. But if you got an order from me, baby, I was working through pain, okay? And I said, I'm going to get these to my babies. And I did. Um, as far as the pelvic pain, I found out that that was related to just the extra work I was doing and the stress. Not that it was worrying me, but you know, you can carry stress in your body or you can just tense up. And there will be times when I was doing orders, I would be up for like 24 hours most times. Like, uh, especially like delivery day or post office day when I was sending orders out, I was going to be up for 24 hours, like going through who needs to be, who it needs to be shipped to, making sure I'm not missing out on anybody, making sure I'm sending out, you know, anything that needed to be reshipped. Um, and also packing those orders. Like I just, I'm just the type of person, like once I get started, I just, I just got to get it done. So, um, I learned that I was carrying a lot of that tension in my pelvis and child, I learned that like one of my legs is a little bit longer than the other one and that has caused a lot of tension in the muscles in my pelvis 
which causes my pelvis to like spasm uh, uncontrollably and that causes pain and um i have been dealing with this for years and i just the way it feels it feels like you're getting a uti a really really bad uti, UTI. that's what it feels like um and it would be uncomfortable to even go to the restroom so that was pretty debilitating i was able to go to a urologist and they helped me out um and then I was able to go to physical therapy and that changed everything for me. Like, whew, that was a blessing. So I am much, much better. There were some exercises I had to do. Um, and if you ever had to deal with any pelvic floor dis dysfunction or anything like that, go to a physical therapist. It will help a lot. There's physical therapists that just specialize in recovery of the pelvic floor and those are just the muscles that sit in your pelvis they control your bladder they control your bowel movements and child if those ain't right ain't nothing right child so got that resolved then my skin all of this happened in the summer like july back to back to back like i was just really opening doors for me to just get my healing so the skin thing i was able to go to an allergist this lady she took medicaid she was backed up i had to wait for like three months and finally went did the allergy test found out i had allergies to salmon trout cockroaches dust mites um ragweed bermuda grass uh Says salmon trout, those mites. What else? Cause that's a lot already. That's a lot already. And I found out that dust mites and cockroaches, those allergies go hand in hand. So like I'm allergic to this. And <laughs> our room was pretty dusty. We had a window unit. So you know. It creates a lot of dust. So basically to help you heal, you have to like basically sanitize your whole room. But dust mites are in pillows, they're in comforters, curtains, dust can cling to your wall. So my husband went in there and he just like sanitized, cleaned everything top to bottom. I didn't need to be in there unless I had like a respirator mask on. We have to change our linen. You have to get um, mattress covers for your mattress to protect you from the allergens. Because really, if you have a dust mite allergy, you are allergic to their poop. Fun. And then apparently, like, you know, roaches, anybody can have roaches. Not a roach infestation, but you could have a roach that might die in your room or under your couch or wherever and she was saying that as it's decaying pieces of its body parts are like floating in the air and that's what causes um you know you to have reactions and stuff to it and she was like even outside they live in trees so if the wind blows that affects you and then on top of that not to make y'all like scared or nothing, but roaches, shrimp, and crawfish are like in the same family. And I had noticed like if I peeled raw shrimp, my hands would like get red or itchy. And if I eat crawfish, like the back of my hands would get like little bitty bumps on them. So I can't have none of that. Not to brush y'all out, but I had to do this research. I have a yeast allergy. That's the big one. That's the kicker. And yeast is in everything. And a lot of times, yeast is disguised as citric acid. Okay? So, if you ever find out you have a yeast allergy and you're still having issues, that's because probably everything that you're eating, if it's processed, even if it come out of can, has citric acid. So, watch that. Once I cut that out of my diet, got so much better. 
But as far as the cockroaches, they can be found in coffee, they can be found in chocolate. So I had to cut all that out my diet, child, so I could heal. And once I did that, glory to God, my skin finally started to get better. And um, they had gave me some cream, triumphant alone, that helped too. Um, but yeah, so I had all that going on and I just really needed to pipe it down. Franny Candy was doing amazing, was doing great, made a lot of money. A lot of people have been asking about it. So here's the thing. Um, Franny Candy, man, uh, in less than a month made like over $10,000. All right. Those are a lot of orders. Got all those orders out, got everything cranked out. But here's the thing with going viral and selling candy on TikTok. So, um, you know, that's a lot of money, but you have to pay for supplies. And supplies include the candy, the chips, the boxes. I was able to get some boxes for free. Um, and then, you know, you got to pay for shipping. Like, so whatever I charge you guys, I really didn't make a whole, whole lot of money off of that to live. I made money, but not nothing to like, that's going to break the bank. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just me doing it. And it's only so many orders I can take. But it was so fun. Don't, don't get it twisted. I had fun and it just blesses my soul to be a blessing to other people or just to pour out that love because that's what that's what my channel is about just pouring out the love so like to pour out the love or like put like extra in somebody's box you know that was everything so if i wouldn't have had like the issues with my my back and all of that stuff and it was able to bring like a significant amount to my household then fine but at the time we were living off a really 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 small budget okay and things just weren't um getting paid and it's just desires of my heart that i just you know what i'm saying you want everything to be taken care of so you ain't gotta worry and all that stuff um we had was having car issues we have two cars stuff needed to get done with that it's some legal stuff i need to take care of with franny candy so all of that takes money and one day i was just like lord i got a degree i have a degree in biology a minor in chemistry i'm like i got a degree we ain't gotta live like this like we ain't got no house note but we could live better you know like this degree should be able to get me something and I shouldn't just have to teach to get something. So I just started searching for jobs, like chemistry lab jobs. I found some, did up my resume. This in the middle of the night. And I sent out some applications. Some of them was like, they didn't hit me back. Some was like, no, we good. And I got a call. I got a call and it changed everything. It changed everything for me. Um, this has been my dream. My dream has to been has been to work in a lab. I love working in labs. I love being in labs. It don't matter chemistry, uh, biology. Like I just love to learn. Period. So, I had this opportunity to work in the oil field in this lab, and in this lab, um, you learn how to test different fuels. And when you're testing these fuels, it's an inspection lab. You're making sure that the oil, gas, jet fuel, whatever is safe for consumers. We have to check to make sure that the jet fuel isn't going to blow up or freeze when it's in a plane. You have to make sure that the gasoline that they put out, that they're making, is not going to spontaneously combust. There's a certain temperature that it has to um, flash at. That's a, called a flash point when it catches on fire. So, actually, I was, like, contributing to society. Mind you, I never worked in this environment before, so I had to learn everything. And it was an entry-level job, so that was perfect. 
um, started out making like $22 an hour. That's the most I've ever made hourly, period. So it was a blessing. You, it comes with benefits. They pay for your travel if you have to travel anywhere. So, you know, you learn on the job. So it was cool. Here's the catch. So when I interviewed, the manager was like, oh, you're going to work four days on and then four days off. Sounded perfect. I was like, oh, I can still record. I can still edit. I can still do everything I need to do. But it was a 12-hour shift. Okay. I hadn't, I wasn't a fan of a 12 hour shift, but I, because of the place we were in, you know, this is a door opening, I'm finna do it. So that, that's what was sold to me. He was like, you'll just have to go train in Beaumont and Beaumont is an hour from me. Mind you, we low on money, but I'm like, Hey, God opened the door. We finna do it. All right. So started traveling. Um, didn't start out four days on, four days off. All right, so that's already like you messing with some stuff. I end up doing five days a week, eight hours a day, having to wake up two and three hours early just to get there on time. And then my commute was like an hour, 10 minutes, hour, 15 minutes. So, you know, I'm driving there, coming back, and having to get up early again child i was tired i was tired but i was on it i was on it i was learning everything i needed to learn there was a lot of adversity that came with that i found out that some people don't like confidence right they don't like confidence and they don't like when you catch on fast and one thing I, i'm gonna do is catch on fast and I've never had an opportunity like this, so I'm like, I'm going to do what needs to be done for my family. So, um, needless to say, I was met with a lot of hostility, a lot of racism from management at the time. And I'm like, these people want me to go to jail. Y'all want me to go to jail. <laughs> and see, the old Christian, the old Christian, not Auntie Franny, the old Christian baby it would have been some furniture moving some slow singing and some flower bringing because who are you playing with but i knew i was on assignment i knew that i was supposed to be there and i knew that was the enemy you know so i kept pressing kept pressing through did what i had to be did what i had to be done in spite of <clears throat> being two of the only black people working there and being targeted every 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 shift i work with this person targeting me saying crazy stuff using profanity either at me or towards me but i held on i held on so switching from um them saying four days a week to five days i baby i'm so tired it wasn't nobody gonna get no video recorded. I was still trying to post around September, October, 2022, but it was really, really hard, really, really hard. And sometimes the the doggone reception wouldn't be good. So I was just like, Lord, I didn't even have time to like record a video like this and just be like, hey guys, I'm gonna be out for a while. I love y'all, y'all hanging there. You know what I'm saying? I might have made a post. I I ain't have time. I ain't have time. And if you was looking at one of the explanations at the time, I am sorry. But life was life. Okay. So that's pretty much what happened. I ended up getting a job and the job didn't turn out to be as far as hours wise what I thought it would be. Um, but it really, really helped my family. It really, really helped our household. We were able to pay off things and get things done. I was able to start a nonprofit um, for my school, my online school. I was able to do some legal stuff for Franny Candy. So like I have goals in mind as to why I started working. It's just, this had to be put on hold. 
but look at God. Um, even me not being able to post this often, my channel, hey, like, my channel took off. And I was like, this is crazy. Because, like, while I was posting, it's kind of like everything was just kind of, like, coasting, you know? And sometimes some stuff wouldn't really get that many views, you know? But you don't always do it for the views. But if you do it on YouTube, ultimately, um, you're hoping that YouTube will retire you from your job or, you know, have some type of nice little income that comes with it or some kind of benefits to this day i've never gotten a legit sponsor or anything like that but you guys sponsored me you guys pushed me you guys encouraged me you guys um took time to comment and say man i don't understand why this channel hadn't blown up yet and i know it's it's all in god's timing so that's why i've made my upgrades my changes and i've been thinking about y'all um and I've been thinking about, like, when I come back, you know, what would I do? What kind of improvements would I make? So, that's where we are right now. That's where we are right now. Um, I experienced a lot of crazy stuff on my new job. The Not the new job, but the job that I was working that I told you about, that I was training. So, I did training out there. And then we went from training to going back home to the lab because it was being like built or in you know what we were recovering from the hurricane we were there for like a week doing 12 hours four on four off that didn't last very long i ended up having to go back to Beaumont working 12 hour shifts driving over an hour with a more flexible schedule which is how I was able to record um, the videos that I do have. But I was out there maybe like almost two months and I got a phone call, hey, come on back. And the way that schedule was set up was like, it was more flexible. So you get like four days off, three days off. Um, Three days on, three days off. And then you work um three, you get one day off, and then you and then you work another three. And then you're off for like a week for seven days, which was awesome. You know, but whenever you're off, you just want to rest because you work so hard. So I got called back and he was like manager was like oh we're working six days on three days off who signed up for that 12 hour shifts and then come to find out when you really look at the schedule it's really a six two schedule so you only get like depending on when you get off like you do you have mornings and you have nights if you get off like in the mornings they was considering that day your off day even though you work that day so you really only got two days off and one day you won't sleep because you've been up for 12 hours or more and you working in the lab by yourself that one day you won't sleep the next day you trying to get stuff done and then you got to prepare your body to go back in to do night shifts or day shifts. So it's like a constant up and down, up and down. And you're tired, you're exhausted. And I did that for like two or three months and had another running with a coworker where he actually like threatened my life. And, um, and it was concerning gun violence. And we had to go through all that. So I was like, nah, we, I got to get up out of here. Like, I got to find somewhere else to go. And mind you, I had learned everything I needed to learn. I had got proficient in everything. And I started putting in applications. Because <laughs> I'm like, one thing you're not going to do is I'm not going to be working this hard. And then you're going to threaten my life. And y'all don't take it serious. 
you take it as a joke. Like, even if I report it to HR, y'all still don't take it serious. And it might be a lawsuit coming up behind that, too, because I'm still, hmm, I'm still pondering on that because that wasn't cool. So, yeah, <laughs> God opened a door where I was able to get up out of there. And the place I'm at now is like night and day. So much more peace. Um, they pay for your benefits, child. 100%. Don't come on my check. They pay for it. It's good insurance. The pay. Let's just say my pay doubled. In less than a year. In less than a year. And working here, I just have a little bit more time to like edit, you know, or if I want to film more new content, I can do that. Schedule. I first started working, the schedule still was like kind of, kind of hectic. Like it's, it's flexible, but, um, that was kind of short staff. So I ended up working a lot of overtime. So I still ain't really get a chance to like record or like even get a chance to edit like all this content that I got. Cause like beyond Franny content, I got food content. I got all kinds of stuff. I got so many videos, like it's ridiculous. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's pretty much what's been happening. That's what's been going on. Um, that's my story time. That's my life in a nutshell. Um, so my thoughts are coming back. I really want to start like a Patreon or something. Some people have mentioned that because some people want like longer videos. I've thought about doing like a compilation this morning of like all the candy lady videos or all the cafeteria lady videos. So y'all let me know if that's something y'all would like or like all the Shaquan videos or all the Shatiffany videos. Um, what else did I want to do? Patreon. Oh, on Patreon, I was like kind of puzzled about like what I should post, you know, like, but I think I would do, y'all would like like the behind the scenes video or maybe if I just go live, like do live um, Franny or ASMR sessions because it would be easier for me to put new content out because I won't have to worry about sitting down and editing because it's just me and I don't have a team. But behind the scenes, you get to see me set up my sound, set up the candy, set up, you know, whatever background, green screen. If I use a green screen that day, like, you will be able to see that. So, let me know what y'all think or you can drop some ideas. I was also thinking about doing um, something called Ask Auntie. And somebody commented something that they wanted to hear Auntie talk about. So, that was perfect. So, like, Ask Auntie, you could comment or you could email, like, you know, if you want to get advice from her or whatever. But yeah, just let me know like what kind of content you would want to see. And I'll let you know if I, I can do it. You know, if it's within my means of doing it. Or, or whatever lines up with my morals. And um, I'm open to it. I really am. I also was thinking about... Whew, I don't know how I'm going to be able to do this. But I'm going to just put it out there. I was thinking about doing like, um, like a meet Franny, but like, what I, let me see what I call it, cause I got my little, my little list of what I'm supposed to talk about, so I won't forget. Um, oh, it's an interactive dinner tour, so it's like a, you know, how I cook meals and I share it with you guys, um, where people get to like meet Franny or she they get to she gets to serve them one on one or like you know speak life into them one on one or if that or even if they just need a hug but there would be like meals like smothered green beans and potato salad and 
um, pork chops if you want pork chops and she will fix your plate. Like you can come up and she can fix your plate and you can interact with her, you know. Um, and it's, it's not going to be like a 200 or 300 person crowd. I don't think. Because that, that's a lot of meals. That's a lot of cooking. And I would be the one that cooks it personally. And you just get to come up, you know, enjoy. She get to talk, you know, and just and it could be in different cities, different different places. Like it's like a love tour, you know, like a tingle tour. <laughs> so um yeah, that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. Um y'all let me know what you think. Let me know what you wanna do. I love y'all so much. Thank y'all so much for rocking with me. I appreciate y'all for real. I really do. Um, I look at every comment. I try to comment uh, back to everybody. I try to comment back to everybody. But I look at every comment. I remember names. I'm like weird like that. I remember names, faces. That's just me. So, <laughs> I just love people. And um, I love loving on people. So, that's where we are, babies. I love y'all so much. Y'all have a bliss, bliss, bliss day. Um, and go check out that new video, child. And be ready. Be ready. I believe they're queued up for every Thursday. Every Thursday. Be on now. All right.